Now, stop me if you have heard this one before. Once upon a while ago, there was a fisherman's puppet, carefully made by hand. The puppet lived a simple life inside the mother lighthouse, with everything in its place. And every day began the same way when he brushed his wooden teeth. Well, if you don't think wooden teeth need brushing, you've never had a cavity and a splinter at the same time. <laughs> Next, he put a log inside his little stove to warm things up. The puppet would put a log inside the stove. Careful now. would get cold in here. The puppet will put a log inside his little stove. Carefully, he would pick up a log, open the stove and put it in, without becoming kindling himself. <laughs> One log out to do it. Nice and warm, safe from the storm. Next he would take his duster and carefully dust his lucky seashell. Over there, on the shelf. What next? Mm. Ah, neck there. <coughs> The shell reminded him of the sea when it was calm. Oops. Next, the fisherman would open wide his window to check the weather. I don't like this walking mechanic. A quiet sea tonight. Ah. Nice. Finally, and most important, every day he would work on his latest model. There, in the center of the room, a perfect model of... Yes! Good. Now, the final touch. A tiny puppet of himself to put inside. There. Tired out from his routine, the fisherman will rest his aching wooden bones in his own rocking chair and go to sleep. And dream of models. Safe inside, where the smell of paint and glue was always fresh, where the world was simple and snapped together, the puppet would follow his routine, brush his wooden teeth, dust his lucky shell, and work on his model. Worlds within worlds, walls within walls, closing out the storm so it could never reach inside. Until one night, Something changed. Fishman fishing season has begun and stocks are looking thin again this year. We all know there's a big catch waiting out there somewhere, but hold your hauling lines. Reports are saying a huge storm is blowing in. It might be nothing, but better safe than salvage, I always say. Coming up next, another hour of thrilling nautical news after these messages. Hey.
Every morning, the fisherman spat at a walk inside his model lighthouse with everything in its place. And he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. No good. He needed to pry the boards off. Ah, this would do. What was it Papa used to say? Use the right tool for the right job. Nearly there. What was this feeling? The... At last. The smell of the ocean. But outside, not the sea. He couldn't believe his wooden eyes. Outside the room was another room. A replica room. And standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu. If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his own little model lighthouse? In the model of his <laughs> own room? That's hilarious. The fisherman could put it off no longer. He had to lift the roof off the little model on the table to look inside. It was all there inside the model, exact in every detail. But the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model, he was outside the model, and just, just who was pulling all the strings? Just in dear listeners, a general alert to all lighthouses in in spite of all of our thrilling up-to-the-minute warnings, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. Lighthouse keepers, make sure your lights are shining bright. I repeat, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. Scratch my nose. The lighthouse. The world <laughs> might be folding in on itself, but only one thing mattered now. He had to turn on the lighthouse lamp high above. The life of a fellow sailor was at stake. A huge anchor blocked the only door. Whoever did it must really want to keep the storm out. Of course! As below, so above. When he lifted the tiny anchor, the large one was lifted by his giant self. Zut! The door was locked. He must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. Now, when was that? And then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey, hey, you. Yes, you, the scruffy-looking puppet. Yeah, you with the strings. Over here, on the shelf. Are you cracked in the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Why? Oh, why did you take the roof off? The fisherman. He felt, uh, well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him, and very rudely too, so he did not feel so great. You test me every day, and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit cop, Sonny, and you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. Now, shh. And what are we hiding from? I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? <gasps> He's the, the key. The key? Where is it? Oh, fiddler crab sticks. The fisherman took a deep breath. Oh, hermit crab, craftiest of all crustaceans, I must get to the top of the lighthouse. Those sailors out there may be looking for us. We must be brave. Brave? Brave? 
If you can find me my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat and a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, just this once, we will be brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and the lever. Now, where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? Have you found anything? Bring it to me when you find something. Where did it go? I should have moved shell years ago, I know. But, uh... I never found the courage to live with this crazy weather outside. Now, here is the biggest storm, and you want me to leave? <laughs> this is in... Whoa! That hat is much too big. It's, um, more of a tent than a hat, no? I won't move until I'm less... Uh, scared. This scruffy looking puppet wants a salt dead, it seems. Find me a hat and a life preserver. Then I'll consider giving you the key to get to the lighthouse. And I'll give you my first mate as well. Good. Now put it on me carefully. I am very delicate on the news. I'll... How does it look? Does it look uh, dashing? Oh, it does. Doesn't it? Now, fetch your captain his life preserver. Allez, allez. Allez. Shut up. Life preserver. There. Now, put it around my shell. So, you found everything? Well, if a little wooden puppet like you can do this, then uh, I will be brave. Now, just let me get out of this damn shell. Ah. <coughs> Phew. Breezy. I feel so much lighter. And the world feels so much bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. All right, let's do this. I'll help you open the door. So you can save your fellow silly old sailor. And I, as captain, shall courageously remain here, on guard. Now, let's see. Where did I leave the key? I was holding the key while I was repairing my shell. Then I had a sudden itch, and then... Blast it. I don't remember. I've lost the key, mon ami. Forget your poor sailor. You'll never be able to save him. That is so weird. I am 
remember us to admit, but alas, I have lost the key. <laughs> couldn't reach the key inside the little shell. He couldn't reach the key inside the little shell. He couldn't reach the key inside the little shell. So, what do I need? It's always... Away in my room here. Oh, put the chair. Oh, look at that. 
Did not see that. Didn't even know we could open that. Perhaps if he had a smaller fingers or a larger shell. Oh, got it. Oh. <laughs> that will do. All right, are you ready? Me too, I think. Farewell, shipmate. I won't forget what you did for me. What's Your captain you? salutes you. He would need to find his way up the tower in the darkness, and already he could hear the storm rising outside.